Hey guys, it's Ruby. Welcome back to another video. So this week I'm finally doing another sit down talking video and I feel like I haven't done one of these in so long, like forever. So I have something to talk about today and that is why you should be traveling solo. So I basically came back from a solo trip from Rome a couple of days ago. I was there over the weekend, Saturday till Tuesday. It took like four days just to myself, alone time, little solo trip in Italy. It was a big vibe. And I was just thinking like while I was out there, everyone should be doing this or they should be at least trying it out, doing it once, seeing how it goes, challenging yourself. And I wanted to go through all the reasons why you should travel alone in today's video. So let's get into it. Okay, so the first reason why you should travel alone is the biggest and the best one, which is freedom and independence. So, you know, you get to create your own schedule, you get to book for whatever flights you want, what works for you, what hotel do you want to stay in, or what area do you want to stay in. You don't have to consult with anyone. You don't have to send it to the group chat and be like, does everyone agree with this? Is everyone okay with this? Like, there's none of that. You just make all the decisions yourself. And it's honestly so freeing. It's liberating to just make all the decisions. It's all on you. Like you know, it gives you like so much trust in yourself and it's actually so good. So I basically decided so last minute that I was going to go to Rome. So I decided on Wednesday that I was flying to Rome and then I literally flew out on the Saturday. And I feel like if there was someone else involved in this or like I was going to go with someone, then it would just be a lot of like organizing and planning, which is fine. But I also like just didn't want to, I just didn't, just didn't have time to do that. So I was like, let me just go by myself. Like, and it was great. So first of all, you have freedom over, you know, your hotel, your accommodation, what time you arrive, whatever, all of that stuff is all up to you. And then once you arrive at the destination, then you have whole total control of your schedule, your itinerary. What do you want to do? You know, what things are you interested in? What do you want to see? Do you want to see the tourist stuff? You don't have to see the tourist stuff. You don't want to. Um, it's all up to you. So yeah, it really gives you this sense of independence because you can kind of make the decisions on your own. You're only consulting with yourself on these decisions. And it's just a really good way to kind of cement and work on your self-belief and self-confidence and knowing that you can make those decisions on your own and everything's gonna be great and there's also no need to compromise or like consider other people in like your decisions which obviously like it's a part of life to make compromises and whatever but like sometimes you need to just kind of remove yourself from those situations and do things for yourself because it's so important to realize that everything that you can do in a group or with others you can do on your own and have the same enjoyment from it so this is something I feel like it took me a while for me to experience and realize because yeah, you're just so used to like doing things with friends, doing things with family, like, you know, you're always with someone or, you know, with, with a partner or whatever, but then you kind of forget that it's important to, to do those things on your own as well. So the second thing that solo travel will give you is a sense of confidence because it will take you out of your comfort zone and put you into certain situations which are challenging, which are, you know, not your norm or like what you're not used to, but it gives you this sense of confidence. So once you come back from this solo trip and you've experienced all these different things, you've kind of like interacted with all these different people, you have had this whole experience on your own it gives you such confidence in the way that you continue to live your life after that experience because you're like oh i did that i went to xyz place on my own and i figured out how to get to the from the airport to my hotel i figured out everything myself and you know sometimes things went wrong but like i figured it out it just gives you such a solid you know foundation of confidence and i love that i love that honestly So I feel like in general, solo traveling is a character building journey, character building experience. It gives you lots of, you know, insight about yourself and like how, why you are a certain way, why you do things a certain way, like whatever. It give you all those insights as well because you have a lot of time to self-reflect. Yeah, it also helps you with dealing with high pressure situations. You know, sometimes all like stressful situations, for example, you might be running late for a flight or you might like not know where to go. When you deal with those situations on your own and when you realize that you can come up with the solutions, on your own it gives you this sense of confidence that i can't fully describe to you unless you experience it yourself so experience it and then comment below if you agree so when i have talked about solo travel like with people in my friend group or you know just like people around me um or even when i went on this rome trip i said like you know i'm going to rome on, on the weekend and they'll be like oh who are you going with and i'm like i'm going i'm going by myself i'm doing a little solo trip and they'll be like what wait what <laughs> um and they were really surprised by it and like i get it i get it yeah i just feel like it's such a fun and like important thing for people to do like it's just it's just a part of life that you know you should 
put yourself in certain situations that you are maybe scared of or fearful of or you think that you cannot handle because it is in all of us to do these things that are scary to travel solo to do things on your own to spend time alone it is in all of us and like i think some people think oh i couldn't do that like i could never do that but that's just not true that is not the truth you can do whatever you want to do okay if you have the mindset that you can do something then you'll be able to do it if you have the mindset that you can't do something then you will not be able to do it and that's just the way that it is so i think the self-talk that you have as well is important if you're someone that thinks or fears the idea of solo travel or you think it's not for you then just think about whether that's coming from a place of like you think that you can't do it or you haven't had, ex had enough experience for you to have enough self-belief that you could do it like all those kinds of things are important to think about and consider because just remember you can do it all of us can it's very easy okay you just have to take the step and not be afraid of what may or may not happen like feel the fear and do it anyway okay So another reason why solo travel is so beneficial is because it gives you an opportunity to learn about yourself. So it basically gives you an opportunity to observe yourself and like how do you respond in certain, certain situations? How do you respond in stressful situations? How do you respond in positive situations, negative situations? What are you really good at when you're on your own? What can you improve on? What, what things make you feel uncomfortable and how can you un overcome those things? And it really makes you realize what you enjoy, like what you enjoy doing, like when you travel, what do you want to do? And it makes you think about that. Like, oh, what do I want to do? Not like, what, the, what does the group want to do? It gives you the, such a good insight into yourself and it's great. So when you're solo traveling, you're also more inclined to meet new people and talk to new people, make new friends because you're on your own. So when you're traveling in a group, it's just less likely that you're going to, you know, divert from the group and try and make all these connections because there's no need and you know you might just want to have a chill trip like with a group and just hang out you know you guys but when you're on your own you kind of you feel more inclined to talk to people and also people come up to you and talk it's just like easier to approach someone who's alone rather than someone who's in a group i feel like when i was especially at restaurants like the waiters and everything in italy in rome they were so so nice to me and it was just so lovely they gave me like such great service and they would just like chat and like be friendly like i did feel uncomfortable like being there on my own or like eating alone in a restaurant or anything because I just felt very like welcomed and it was really nice. So another reason why I love solo travel is because it gives you a chance to reflect on life in solitude. <laughs> this is such like an introvert thing to say like this whole thing is introverted. This whole video is, is like an introvert stream basically and extroverts may or may not understand it. I'm sorry I just don't know. <laughs> I don't know about you guys but for introverts I can speak for myself and for introverts so yeah basically when you're traveling alone you obviously have a lot of time to yourself you have a lot of alone time a lot of me time you get to kind of think about your past your future whatever like your dreams your goals your everything like you you have a lot of time to think about that right there's no one else to talk to <laughs> unless you're making friends but you know a lot of time is spent on your own and yeah it gives you a really good time and opportunity to think about what you want what your goals are and things you know you can improve on or your strengths or whatever like it kind of gives you like all this time and it's also a really great time to like meditate on things and journal i was journaling every day on my italy trip like i journaled in the morning and i meditated in the morning but that is part of my routine basically every day so i didn't want to you know stop doing that just because i was on holiday it's still part of my life and when i do that it makes my day better it makes like everything better so i just feel like it's also a really good time to do it because you're on your own you're in a new place you're in a new city it gives you like a fresh perspective on things so another reason why solo travel is so amazing is because it gives you an opportunity to be really really present you're not distracted by other people or other things and whatever else you can really take time to enjoy the moment enjoy what you're doing enjoy the traveling experience enjoy where you are really like immerse yourself in the culture and no, I'm not saying that like you can't do that stuff if you're traveling with someone else. Of course, you definitely can. But I think you're just kind of more aware of it when you're on your own that you can just tune in and be present to the current moment and really enjoy that. And the final reason why I recommend solo travel to you is because it gives you the chance to be alone and really enjoy it. And it also makes you realize that you don't need someone else to make you feel whole. Okay, you don't need someone else to travel with. You don't need a travel buddy. You don't need a partner. You, like you just, you just don't. Because it shows you in plain sight. You can do all of these things on your own. Like, you know, there's no need to wait for someone else to book that trip. Book the trip, okay? You just book it. <laughs>
Book it right now and don't wait for anyone else. Okay guys, so I hope I have successfully convinced you to take a solo trip ASAP. Of course, if it's in your means and if you can afford it, then take the opportunity because... Hi. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Okay guys, so that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and make sure to like and subscribe. You can find me on Instagram, Depop, TikTok and Pinterest and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!